Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, as you can see, there is a brand new update that's just come out like yesterday. Yeah, today's the 4th, it came out yesterday. Um, so they've added the ability to do sea swimming. This was already a feature in New Leaf, it's a little odd that it didn't come with this game already. Um, if you happen to live in the Northern Hemisphere, it makes sense to release this now because over there it's summer. However, here in the Southern Hemisphere, it is winter. Um, so I have the ability to swim in the middle of winter now, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so as it says, you can find uh, a range of sea creatures. Basically, the way that worked in New Leaf, you could dive when you saw like uh, shadows in the water and you could bring up things like, uh, like, uh, s like sea snails and sea urchins and I think clams, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, you can add those to the museum. Uh, scallops as well, yeah. So yeah, this update is... It's being advertised as a summer update in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, you can see it's not being advertised that way here, because it's not summer, but still, cool to have. Uh, so yeah, we're now version 1.3.0, as you can see. Uh, I haven't started the game yet today, or yesterday for that matter. I wasn't ready to record, so let's go. <laughs> Uh, let's check this out. Danny go swimmy. Probably should have just loaded the game, but I wanted to check if Isabel had anything to say about the new update, so... We'll see. So basically, yeah, you have to find a wetsuit, which is like... It's kind of like a tool, but also like an article of clothing. We'll see how it works in this game, but... In New Leaf, it... You could equip it. And it like went over the top of your normal clothes. Hello there everyone. Right now on Canterlot it's 12.03 p.m. on Saturday, July 4th, 2020. For some time now, Nook Inc. has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. I am pleased to announce that based on their findings, the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming. What's more, the water itself is clear and clean, which are the perfect conditions for underwater diving. For everyone's safety, we ask that you please use the proper swimwear if you plan to enter the water. You can purchase a wetsuit at either the shop or nook shopping. Well, I can't wait to see folks out there diving, playing, and splashing. The appropriate amount, of course. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Okay, so we're gonna just dash over to the shop and grab ourselves a wetsuit. Once the game loads. There we go. Do -do -do -do. I'm holding a bunch of weird stuff, but it doesn't really matter. There's KK Slider. Is it Saturday? Here's the shop. Okay, so yeah, the way it worked in New Leaf, you had to equip the wetsuit and then you just press A when you're standing at the beach and you can dive into the water. Hello, hello. <coughs> Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Uh, apparently you go over to the cabinet here to get a wetsuit. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. Today! Uh, there we go. Horizontal striped wetsuit. Aha! Thinking of swimming? Yes, yes. You'll most definitely need a horizontal striped wetsuit. Well, before you head to the beach, perhaps we'll give you a few pointers about swimming. Swimming! I don't have any pointers on your form, unfortunately. Just the basics about getting into the water. So first things first, you want to put on a suitable wetsuit like this horizontal striped wetsuit. Once you're suited up, just press A from the beach or nearby rocks to hop into the water. Swim around, keep pressing A. Oh, and if you see a shadow, you can press Y to dive and check it out. You never know what kind of sea creatures might be lurking. Perhaps you could bring one to the surface. Well, I think that covers everything you'll need to know. No! So, back to the item at hand. It can be yours for 3,000 bells. Would you like to buy this horizontal striped wetsuit? I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. Purchase! Uh, that's all I needed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you! Okay, so if we now check our inventory... Yeah, we have our horizontal stripe wetsuit. We choose wear, and yeah, it goes over the top of our normal clothes. You can see we're still wearing our other clothes underneath. Which is an interesting way of doing things. That's how it worked in New Leaf as well. You equipped it and it covered up your regular clothes with special stuff. Um, I am wearing some very fancy shoes I probably shouldn't swim in, so... I may go and get changed properly before, uh, continuing. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, you can see I'm now wearing a wetsuit. Uh, let's head back to my uh, wardrobe, which is over here. <laughs> let's get changed. Oh, I have to take off the wetsuit first. Interesting. Okay, so the way you do that, it looks like you go into here. Yeah. Okie dokie. I think that's pretty much the same as it was in New Leaf. Okay, what's more suitable than a suit? <laughs> yeah, a tea sounds good. Uh... Um, maybe ditch that hat and wear something a bit more suitable for swimwear. Uh... There we go. <laughs> um, probably shouldn't wear the glasses. Like, I don't want to... I haven't actually gone swimming since I started wearing glasses. I don't know how that works. Probably you just don't wear them in the water. I might keep them on though, I like glasses. Uh, ditch the tights. Just, just ditch the shoes, probably. Let's go barefoot. Wow, my feet look weird. It's no toes. <laughs> okay, yeah, that looks like a good, a good get up. There we go. Okay, then we actually put on our wetsuit as well. There we go, and it just covers over the normal clothes we're wearing. Okay, and then we can go for a bit of a swim. So yeah, you stand at the edge of the water like this. You can't swim in, um... Rivers, like over here, I can't swim probably. Yeah, see, I'm tap, I'm mashing the A button right now, nothing happens. But if I head down to here, this is still counted as river, but this should be ocean. Yep, there we go. Okay, so you can move very slowly like this just by tilting the stick. You can dive by pressing Y. Oh, hello, that's different. Uh, in New Leaf, when you dive. Uh, you just go down for like a second. You don't stay down for a long time like's happening here Actually, no, it's pretty much like this, but you don't really sit you don't see yourself in the water like this This is new which is interesting. Uh, you see these shadows like this. That's that's the same as before Then you can grab them and catch things. Whoa, this is I got an octopus. You can give four hugs at once. So yeah, um, the way you catch deep sea critters, I'm now tapping the A button to do the little swimmy stroke. Makes you swim a lot faster. Uh, and yeah, you tap Y to dive when you see bubbles. This is pretty much the same as in the other game, yeah. Whoa, this is... I got some seaweed. I couldn't kelp myself. <laughs> uh, apparently this is more or less the only thing that was added in this update. Is the ability to get a wetsuit and go out swimming for stuff. Uh... You can check your inventory. I think you couldn't check your inventory while swimming in New Leaf. I think that was a limitation. Looks like you can do it in this game. You can't actually drop things though, which is annoying because if you're carrying too much stuff and you see something you want to catch, tough luck. I'm guessing I can't cross this? Yeah. Uh, so this is the same as it was in New Leaf. There was like just a fence like this at the edge to keep you from going too far. Uh, the diving effect is prettier. Basically, in New Leaf, you just got, became a shadow when you dived, rather than, it, like, turning the camera and letting you see underwater. This is... I got a sea star. Maybe it'll give me an autograph. <laughs> oh my goodness. Danny go swim me. So yeah, you can't just hold B to move like you can on land. You have to actually tap A repeatedly. Which is a little annoying. But manageable. Got something else. Whoa, this is... I gotta see an enemy. The enemy of my anemone is my frenemy. <laughs> you really shouldn't touch that with your bare hands, Danny. <laughs> That's not safe. Hmm. But yeah, so this is the extra feature. You can go in the water and... Can I use my phone in the water? I can. I guess it's waterproof. That's good. Uh, the Critopedia. Yeah, it has an extra section now. Your app has been upgraded with additional information about the sea creatures you've captured. So yeah, you can see that we can have a look at stuff like seaweed, uh, sea anemone, you can see when, when during the year these things show up. It looks like it's just all the time for most of them. Was seaweed different? 
Yeah, you can't get them in February or March for some reason. But yeah, there's just a third section for sea creatures. That's the same as it was in New Leaf. And they did something for Nook Miles. Oh, just catching sea creatures? Yeah, deep dive. Catch five critters, underwater understudy. Fill out your Critopedia. Yeah, I can do those things. <laughs> uh, you can use emotes while swimming too. You have to be stationary in order to open the menus and stuff, which is a bit annoying. That is roughly how it works on land too though, so it's not surprising. The underwater part is a bit more interesting than it was. There we go. I was going to see an enemy. Eh, still worth catching. Midsummer Swimmer. Uh, it's, it's, it's winter. Uh, I think they maybe forgot that half of this game is in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> it's a glittering sea that surrounds our island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures. Put on your wetsuit, dive in, and see what you can collect to earn miles. See what I did there? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. If I stay still, yeah, the map does come up, so you can check that. I imagine if I set it to always appear, it would still always appear, like, while I'm swimming. What have we here? Oh, more seaweed. This stuff usually isn't worth too much, like, for sale, but it's worth getting for the museum, basically. Swim, me, swim, me, swim. Swim, 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 swim. It looks really nice, like, these visuals are pretty great. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's not a huge addition, like, I'm not sure... It was a minor version, I guess, but... Eh. There are a lot of second enemies around. And I definitely shouldn't be touching them with my bare hands. I love that sparkling effect that we're swimming towards now. That looks really nice. So yeah, this works exactly the way it did in New Leaf. This has not changed at all. Except that when you dive, you can see yourself instead of seeing a shadow. Uh, otherwise, exactly the same. Whoa, this is... I got a sea cucumber. It's a bit cumbersome. Oh, 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 hello. There are still many creatures we've yet to discover at the bottom of the sea, hmm? Earn miles by diving deep, capturing critters, creatures, and filling out your Critopedia. Yes, yes! Cerulean Diver. Those are good keywords. We've still got some slots to work with, let's just keep swimming. Keep on swimming. Oh, 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 I think you can dive from the rocks as well, so let's give that a try. There weren't really rocks like this in the previous game that you could use. Yep, you can dive. Oh, that's cool. So there is a minor addition. Um, it's not like super impressive or anything, but it's still nice to have. Let's get whatever this is. Oh, it's sea star. I assume you can't jump back out onto the rocks, or maybe you can. No, you need to go to a beach to get back out. But yeah, the previous game didn't really have these, like, higher-up rocks to jump off of, so... There's a, a minor extra effect because you can dive into the... into that. So that's cool. Whoa, this is... I got a sea slug! It's kind of salty about that. Uh, the news post did mention there are some extra events as well. Uh, you can meet Pascal, who is... Uh, an otter, I think? Uh, and you can give him scallops to get certain items, but I haven't found any scallops yet, so I don't know if I'm going to be seeing him. It's possible you only get scallops in the summer, which would be super awkward. Oh no, that looks like a scallop. Whoa, this is... I got an oyster. It's a little shellfish. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't a scallop, but it's similar to a scallop. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, so in, in New Leaf, you actually saw the shadow and the bubbles before diving because it didn't have this, like, camera angle thing, which is, which is interesting. It's a little bit different. Oh, is that a scallop? Whoa, this is... I got a scallop. It ought to be savored. Okay, that's Pascal over there. Hi, Pascal. Hey, man, about that scallop of yours. Can I have it? Well, I'm not a man, so let's start with that. Thanks. Uh, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Not a man. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take, this is called give and give. That's how we all win, you dig? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. Friendship isn't a boat you crew alone. You never know what, when you'll need all hands on deck for a storm. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. This, this, that, this sounds like Juno? It's one doodle that can't be undid, home skillet. Yep, today is a good day. Thanks, Pascal. Okay, I think he just gave us, like, he added a recipe to our recipe decks or whatever. So let's just have a quick look. Oh, maybe he put, put it in our inventory? He did, and we can't learn it until we get out of the water. That's kind of strange. <laughs> well, we met Pascal. Um, and yeah, I assume you can get pearls by diving. Uh, that wasn't a feature in the previous game. That is new. Uh, because, can, like, crafting things wasn't a major feature in the game before. Kind cynic. Alright. <laughs> if you meet a laid-back fellow floating in the ocean, consider sharing some of your scallops with him. You never know what you might learn in return, and a little gift never hurts either. You oughta know. <laughs> okay, so I, I'll have to find another scallop to donate to the museum. Uh, because, yeah, I need to put at least one in the museum. Of everything. What do we got here? I have one more inventory slot after getting this. I got a sea star. Maybe it'll give me an autograph. I'm not sure why you can't, like, drop underwater items once you've grabbed them. You should be able to just release them back into the ocean, but you can't. I think this was a problem in the previous game, too. I'm astonished that they didn't fix that, because it seems like a really obvious thing to me. Uh, also, yeah, you go a bit slower when you're actually underwater, and some things try to run away, so you've got to chase them a little bit. I got an octopus. You can give four hugs at once. Okay, my inventory is now full, so I'm just gonna swim back to shore. Uh, is this the secret beach? Nope. The secret beach is further this way. It's a little hard to keep track of where you are. In New Leaf, there was a map on the bottom screen when you were swimming. Um, so you could tell, like, where relative to the island you were without really needing to keep too much track of it. Uh, this game, not so much. This is the secret beach, yeah? Uh, no, that is the secret beach. Okay. I wonder if I do the shivering thing. Nope. Uh, in New Leaf, when you get out of the water, in a cold area, and you don't immediately start moving, uh, your character does a little shiver emote automatically. So I guess they cut that out. Sea cucumber... Uh, oyster, scallop. I'm gonna go find some more scallops. Sea slug. Uh, let's read that recipe. Fair free up a slot. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY re recipe for a mermaid dresser. Wow, it looks really funny if you learn recipes while standing on the secret beach. The angle is just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, you can just leave the wetsuit on. It doesn't count as a tool. So you can, like... Uh, go around with your wetsuit on and equip another tool, and all good. Uh, of course, when you want to take it off in order to change clothes or something, you do need a slot to put it into. Uh, let's just go to the museum. Alright, I guess I'll donate these things separately so you can see what the messages for them are. Uh... I don't know if I need to, like, upgrade the museum with a new section, or if it'll automatically have one, but we'll see. Hi, Blathers. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Danielle. 
Welcome to the Cantalot Museum. Hoot, that reminds me. I've received news I simply must discuss with you, Danielle. Sea creatures and other marine wonders can be found off the shores of our very own Cantalot. Also, I've heard tell. Any hoot, it is exciting stuff, is it not? Now, I do not know the precise whereabouts of said oceanic discoveries, but if any happen to find their way into your possession, I'd be most eager to see them. Okay, so he's already accepting them, so I'll just go, I found a sea creature? Is that so? What manner of marine life might it be? My pin feathers are prickling in anticipation. Okay, so do I need to, like, get him to build the new section first? Hoo hoo, why, this is an octopus. Sea creatures are extraordinary things, are they not? Are they not? I wonder, would you entrust this marvelous marine find to me? All yours. Hoo hoo, how wonderful. I shall gladly take you up on your offer. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your octopus? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. With its eight limbs, three hearts, and surprisingly big brain, the octopus is quite the wonder. It is also an escape artist like no other. You see, the octopus has specialized skin cells that can change color and texture with lightning speed. Thus it can look for all the world like a patch of seabed one minute, and a pile of rocks the next. But the, the deception doesn't stop there, what what. When attacked by a predator, the octopus releases a cloud of ink and poof, makes its escape. Let's just call the octopus what it is, shall we? The ninja of the deep. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Hoot, but moreover, it must be said that we are most fortunate to have an island such as this. One with a veritable bounty of ocean wonders to discover, and of course to display. Indeed, as of now, we have begun accepting donations of sea creatures. It is a broad category that includes discoveries that are not technically creatures, per se. But go see what the sea has to offer. Your enthusiastic and philanthropic particip participation is all I ask. Okay, so has, has he already made a new section for this stuff? Like, if I go into the fish section, is there a sub-area for the new stuff? Or... Like, in New Leaf, it was already there from the beginning of the game, so... I'm not quite sure how it's going to work in this game. Uh, let me see. I've been here before, so I already sort of know the layout. Um, is there a new room at the back for these extra things? Or maybe it'll add a new section to the to the museum entirely, like at the, out the front. Um, we've got a bathysphere here. Is this relevant? I mean, it's not a bathysphere. It's a submarine. Bathysphere is a spherical, but... <laughs> uh, the museum design is really nice in this game. Well, I'm not seeing a new section. Uh, maybe up here? Oh, there's an octopus. Does it just go in that section with the other stuff, or is that actually a squid? That looks very similar. Um... Let me just go back and see if that was a squid or an octopus. I had already caught a squid, which is a normal fish you can catch with the, with the fishing rod, so... Red snapper, dab, saw shark, olive flounder... Octopus. Okay, so the deep sea creators just end up in the same section as the other stuff. Huh. I guess that works. I don't really remember if that's... that is. I think that's what happened in New Leaf as well. Like, they were just integrated. Despite being separate categories in the Critopedia. Okay, uh, let's donate some other stuff and see what Brothers has to say. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Do you have a look around? No rush, take your time. Ah, but first, how may I assist you? Make a donation. Marvellous, what would you like to donate? Uh, here's some seaweed. Here you go. Hooty hoo, this must be some seaweed. Now, might I just show in a few fascinating facts about your seaweed? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Let it be known that seaweed is a misnomer of the highest order. That is, it is not a noxious weed so much as it is a marine algae most beneficial to life on land and sea. Seaweed, you see, provides essential habitat and food for all manner of marine creatures. And it creates a great deal of the oxygen we land lovers love to breathe, too. Who? And yes, I can't help but shudder when the slimy stuff touches my toes during a swim. 
Hoot the horror. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner, and we saw this bit already. Okay, uh, let's donate the rest of our stuff. Uh, we still have sea stars. Here you go. Who, 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 this is un undoubtedly a sea star. Now, might I just you in a few fascinating facts about your sea star? Yes, please tell me. Oops. Oops, I meant to say yes, please tell me. Uh, let me just uh, ask him to tell me about one of the others because I have a few of them. Tell me about this. Sea star. Who indeed hoot? What a splendid sea star! The sea star may appear to have five feet, but those are in fact its arms. And though five armed sea stars are the most common, there are species with 20 or even 40 arms out there. Ah, but the fascinating appendage facts do not end there, what what. You see, upon each sea star's arm sprout many dozens of tiny feet. Yes, feet! They use these suction cupped feet not just to move about, but to uh, grab hold of dinner guests as well. Finally, it should be noted that when a sea star loses an arm, it can grow it back. More impressive yet, a severed sea star arm can sometimes grow an entire sea star body back. We have this item on display in the museum at this very moment. Do feel free to take a look at your leisure. Anything else I can help you with? Make a donation. Good thing we caught a couple of those, so I could ask him about a different one. <laughs> uh, see an enemy. Who, who, why, this is a sea anemone. Now, am I just you in a few fascinating facts about your sea anemone? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Medusa herself would be most impressed by the sea anemone. This pretty predator loves to wave its colourful flowing locks about, but those gorgeous tresses are, in fact, deadly tentacles surrounding a hungry mouth. Triggered by the slightest touch, these tentacles harpoon victims with neurotoxin. See an enemy then pulls the helpless, hapless prey into its mouth for a spot of lunch? I say let this be a lesson. Never ever make an enemy out of an anemone. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got some more stuff for you, in fact. Uh, I have a sea cucumber. Hooty hoo, this must be... A sea cucumber. Now, I might interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea cucumber? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The sea cucumber, much like its relatives, the sea urchin and sea star, has no heart nor brain. However, unlike its relatives, it has no shell nor spikes which to protect itself either. So, how does a softy such as this stay safe in the open ocean? Brace yourself, I say. When threatened, sea cucumbers jettison their innards out of their backsides. Whew, gross but true. The sticky, stringy stuff ensnares predators, allowing the cuke to make its escape and grow its insides back. One might say, the sea cucumber is a gutsy creature indeed. Hoo hoo hee hee, do forgive me. And there you have it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did know that about sea cucumbers. Super gross. Uh, oyster. Yes, it is an oyster. Yes, tell me about my oyster. Wonderful. Oysters are marvellous mollusks and in many ways the social butterflies of the seas. That is, these bivalves tend to live or attach to rocks in large groups known as oyster beds. These reef-like structures provide home and habitat for a delightful variety of creatures. Mussels, barnacles, and sea anemones have all been known to set up house. Meanwhile, small fish and crabs hide from predators and even raise their young among the snuggling oysters. With all the hubbub, an oyster bed sounds like the last place where one would get some sleep. Okay, uh, last one is the sea slug, right? Yep. Here you go. Imagine, if you will, a land slug, but one dressed in frilly attire full of bold colours, stripes, and spots. That is the sea slug, a gastropod that looks ready to walk the red carpet, or perform beneath a big top. But these clowns are no laughing matter, eh what? Their garish colours and wild patterns warn predators to steer clear of their stinging, toxic taste. And that is how you dress for success, as they say. And there you have it. <laughs> okay, uh, so we just donated everything we found to Blathers. Uh, except the scallop, we need to find another scallop. Uh, cool. I guess that's pretty much what I've got to say about this one. Let's have a look at this new recipe. 
uh, mermaid dresser, pearl, giant clam, and coral. So the giant clam and coral, you can just get those by walking on the beach. They're just normal shells. Pearls, you have to dive for, I assume. I wonder if pearls also can be donated, like if they count as critters. I guess I'll find out. Uh, we're at half an hour now, so I've pretty much shown, I guess, the extent of this update. Uh, it did mention something about Gulliver as well, but he's not here as far as I know. I can have a quick run around the beach and see if he's around. That's interesting. You have to put your tool away in order to swim. Uh, that was not a problem with some tools in the previous game, but it was a problem with others. Can I swim underneath the... No, you can't swim under the seaplane even if you dive, which doesn't make a lot of sense because it's floating on the surface. Okay, so yeah, just like in New Leaf, you have limited air supply and there's just no no display of it, you just swim back up after a little while. Okay. Swim, swim, swim. There's a cow. I don't think Gulliver's here. Let's just make sure though, just in case. Where are you, Gulliver? Uh, maybe on the other side? I'm also wondering if you can craft wetsuits. I'm getting the impression you can't because it told you to buy one from the shop, rather than uh, telling you, you know, you can get a recipe for one by doing this, or you can buy one from the shop. Um, so, also, like, wetsuits don't, like, uh, then again, lots of things you can craft don't get damaged, so I suppose it would make sense to be able to craft them. Like, you can craft the vaulting pole and the ladder, and they never get damaged either. Eh, I don't know. I'm... It might be possible to craft like specialized wetsuits, like how you can make um like special event outfits and stuff. But I don't know. Uh, check the side of the beach for a seagull who's having a sleep. Ooh, I'll take that. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I don't think Oliver's here. Otherwise, I'd you know show off whatever it is he wants you to do. That's a bit different now. But he doesn't seem to be here, so I cannot, unfortunately. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Yeah, there wasn't really any way you could jump into the water in the previous game. In this one you can, which is kind of cool. It doesn't really mean much, though, like, it's not a huge upgrade. Um... This is more or less just a feature that was already in New Leaf, and that it was really weird that this game didn't have until just now. <laughs> I guess they just, you know, needed more time to work on it or something. Which is fine, you know. I don't want the devs to be too crunched, working on, like, enormous amounts of stuff all the time. Uh... Ooh, that's new. Whoa, this is... I got an acorn barnacle. Will it grow into an oak barnacle? <laughs> Probably. And yeah, I assume this fence here was basically added as part of the update as well. Like, there was no way to see it before, because it's so far out from the island. But I assume it was already there. Because that just makes sense. I, assume, I mean, I assume it wasn't already there, and they added it in this update, because now you can see it, so it needs to be there. <laughs> And then again, maybe it was already there, and again, you just couldn't see it, because you couldn't go far enough away from the island. Uh, anyway, uh, I think this is about it for this video. I just wanted to show that you can swim now, and it's pretty fun. Uh, it's easier to get a swimsuit than it was in the other game. Oh, whoa, this is... I got a whelk. Happy snails to ya. Fresh ingredient. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I also noticed the Critopedia. I want to check if it... Yeah, it does the same thing the other sections do. It shows a little uh, owl icon if you've donated it, which is very helpful. Acorn Barnacle and a Welk. Um, so yeah, um, in New Leaf you have to go to Tortimer's Vacation Island in order to get a wetsuit. They would give you one for free while you were there, but you couldn't take it back. You had to do some quests on the island to, like, buy one you could take back. Uh, which was an interesting way of doing things. And this one you can just trivially buy one, so... Whoa, this is... I found a pearl! Could they get any more pearl effect? It's a pearl of critter? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so you don't need to donate pearls. Uh, because, which probably makes sense, because they seem to be a crafting ingredient anyway. But it would have maybe made sense to donate one of them and then, you know, take the others and... Ooh, what's that? Another sea cucumber? Yeah. It's a bit cumbersome. So yeah, this gives you the ability to get an unlimited amount of, uh, like, fish and stuff without breaking anything. So I'm guessing they don't sell for very much at all, like, compared to some of the fish that you can catch with a fishing rod. I haven't tried to sell any of them yet, but... They are not going to sell for much. I'd be very surprised if they're worth selling at all. I think I want the map, mini map always on while swimming. Oh, the map app won't work while I'm swimming. All right. Um, the mini map does work. I just can't turn it, change its settings while I'm swimming. That's weird. Oh, is that a scallop? Oh, it's an oyster. Uh, let it go. Can I jump into the water from the dock? Like, it said from, from the beach or from rocks. Can you do it from a dock as well? Let's find out. You can! It'd be really disappointing if you couldn't, so I'm, I'm glad that that works. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the new wetsuit upgrade. Happy, uh, summer, everyone. Because that's definitely the time of year it is. Uh, let's see what this recipe is. Grass skirt, I already know that one. I really need to invite someone to take some of these recipes that I don't need. Because if you have a look at my recipe store, uh, which is over here, near the entrance. Yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff scattered here. Drop. So yeah, I'll, I'll need to play some multiplayer and see if people need those. I might quickly like stand on all of them so you can see what they are. Uh, I can't look at those ones. Oh yeah, I can, sort of. Maybe. Okay, do I have two coconut juices? I... Iron shelf, okay. Oh, that's just fiddly. Okay, um, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, maybe there'll be another update. Maybe there won't. <laughs> but that's all I've got to say about this one. So, thank you for watching. I would assume there are a lot of different kinds of... Actually, yeah, let me just check Nook Shopping momentarily. Special goods... Okay, yeah, you can buy a different wetsuit. It's the same price, but it's it's got a different design. I, I like it better than the one I already have, actually. I might, I might order that. There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can still get the summer solstice and winter solstice items simultaneously, which is pretty funny. Ooh, Tanabata? Huh, yeah, I'll have that. I do already have both of those, but yeah, you can see Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. I think there might be a little bit of a glitch there. It used to say, um, Southern Hemisphere and Europe, so I guess maybe they changed the label in the update, but they didn't actually fix what was available and what wasn't, which is kind of funny. Um, anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, who knows? Bye! Seriously though, bye. <laughs>